We're here at the Woodland Trust's Hooking Estate on the edge of the Kent Downs area of outstanding natural beauty. We've got 500 acres of beautiful rolling countryside with ancient woodland, recently planted native woods and areas of grassland, some of which up until recently was intensive arable land. This is creating a much more resilient landscape which is allowing our native woods and wildlife to thrive. But of course we do face some challenges here too. But we've taken the opportunity to work with others to try and find ways of tackling those problems and putting in place some interesting research work to try and deal with those issues. It's the arrival of a new disease, often referred to as cholera dieback of ash, that's having a real impact on our woodland. Now ash disease is killing mainly young ash trees at the moment, but we expect that it will spread significantly in the years ahead. The disease got here, we think, within some contaminated planting stock that came from Europe, but also the fungal spores have got here by natural means on the wind and spread from continental Europe. Well, normally all of these young trees behind me would be thick with green foliage, but you can see a number of the young ash have already died and some of them are in various stages of dying. This is because the ash disease itself, which is a fungus, has infected these trees. The spores have landed on the green leaves, infected the trees, sent lesions into the bark of the trees, into the stem of the trees and eventually killing them off. Of course, those leaves will fall off early, they'll die, and they'll be the, the breeding ground for the fungus to, um, to set up fruiting bodies, which will create the next generation of spores to infect more ash trees. So we've got this cycle of disease, infection and spread, which is already established in some of our native ash woods. And most of these trees behind me, these have, these have regenerated naturally. So this would be thick with lovely thick green ash trees, but as you can see, many of them are dying. We're working with the Forestry Commission and their scientists in forest research, one of a number of trials across the country to put young ash trees in harm's way to find out which of those trees might be resistant to ash disease. We know there's some natural resistance. In Europe, two or three percent of ash trees are naturally resistant to the disease. We can spot those trees early, monitor these sites. We can use those in breeding programs and save ash for the future.